What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing one of the best Pokemon in Series 12, which is going to be Shedinja. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it only takes two seconds of your guys' time. Two seconds of your guys' time. By the time I say two seconds of your guys' time, you could have subscribed already. You have could have subscribed already. But here it is, yo. Let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in the top left corner with the one and only Kyrie. We got the Drizzle as the ability to set the rain, alongside with the Choice Scarf as item. So, you know, we can outspeed Pokemon and just get off our shots and do big damage. We got Water Spout, Origin Pulse, Thunder, and Ice Beam for a fairly normal moveset for any Kyogre. Right next to him is going to be Kyogre's best friend. That is going to be Kingdra over here with the Swift Swim ability alongside with the Life Orb as his item. So, you know, its ability doubles its speed in the rain. This thing is great with Dynamax in the rain. It just does some big old damage. We got Waterfall, we got Outrage, we got Bounce, and then we got Icy Wind for speed control. But uh, there's actually like a physical attacking Kingdra right here. It's got a physical attack move, so it's a little bit different from most Kingdra. So it's going to be cool to use, going to be cool to showcase in some battles. Third Pokemon on the squad at the middle left is going to be Shed Ninja. And this Pokemon amazing like i said one of the best pokemon for series 12 i don't know why all of a sudden series 12 everybody started using trend ninja but that's just how it be that's just how it be it's got the wonder guard ability which makes it amazing and then the focus hatch as item but if you guys do not know what his ability does wonder guard actually allows shen ninja to not get hit by any moves that are non-super effective so if the move's not super effective, he's not going to take damage. So he's going to be a great Pokemon to swap in, swap out, protect allied Pokemon, or just play late game with. Really do like this Pokemon. We got Poltergeist, Shadow Sneak first turn priority, ally switch to protect allied Pokemon, then endure for its final move. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Zacian. I'm not saying anything about it. It's the normal Zacian, normal ability, normal move set, normal item. There it is if you guys want to go check it out. Bottom left hand corner, we got our support mom, which is going to be Indeedee with the Psychic Surge as its ability, alongside with the Psychic Surge as its item to give it a special defense boost when it hops into the battle. We got Follow Me, we got Helping Hand, Energy Ball for our coverage and only hitting move, and then Protect for our fourth and final move. Last Pokemon on the squad is going to be our Intimidate Landers over here with the White Herb as its item. We got EQ, Fly, Rock Slide, and Sword Dance set up. Great Pokemon to Dynamax and a great Pokemon all around. Guys, you want to try this team for yourself? Not the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Series 12 Shed Ninja team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a Jelly Scent Trick Room team right here. He also has Ice Rider, Calyrex, Venusaur, and the Groudon combo, and then he's got Grim Snarl and Charizard. Charizard also pairs up with that Groudon because, you know, it's Solar Power Charizard. It's in the sun, it's doing crazy amount of damage. But how should we play this? How should we go into it? I feel like it's a Weather War time. I feel like it is time for Weather War. Do I go Kingdra? And then bring Kyogre in the back end, maybe just hard swap. Could definitely be our play. Could definitely be our play, but I'm thinking of bringing Shed Ninja. Shed Ninja is just such a cool Pokemon. I'm thinking of just going here alongside with Zacian. It could be really, really good. He has no Intimidate Pokemon either. Then we could bring Kyogre in the back end alongside with the Shed Ninja. I do like me some Shed Ninja, dude. Shed Ninja is just a cool Pokemon. Really cool Pokemon. And we're trying to showcase it. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. He has no follow me Pokemon, so Trick Room could be kind of easy to counter if we just, like, attack that one Pokemon. But, yo, look at Shen Ninja's HP. One out of one. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. But, yo, you guys know the deal. Before we actually hop into our first battle, let me know in the comment section down below. For question of the day, what is your favorite ability in Pokemon? Considering we're using a Pokemon that mainly focuses on this ability, I'd love to get you guys' answers in the comment section down below. So, definitely let me know your guys' favorite ability in Pokemon. But let's see who this guy's leading. Let's see who this guy's leading. Is he going to lead the ground on? He is going to lead the ground on. So we can hard swap take weather all day. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to hard swap take weather and uh, take speed here too with the Kingdra. So I could hard swap out Dynamax to Kingdra and then what do I do from there? Go after that Charizard? I'm kind of with just going after that Charizard. So who could he swap into? He's going to take a water move that well. I don't think he brought the jelly set. I think he's just like ripping in with the, what's it called, squad? Where do I go from here? Because I, I want to go for a geyser, but then if he swaps to Charizard, that's a problem. If he swaps Charizard into the Venusaur, which he could, I kind of want to go for a Wormwind just for the attack drop. But at the same time, it's like, dude, we can just dump on this Charizard. So, you know, I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to roll into my Choice Scarf Kyogre. Choice Scarf Kyogre. If he was smart, he would swap Groudon right here right now. But I don't know if he's going to do that or not. I do not know. But always a great play when you're playing up, up against a weather team and you have a weather team on your own. Not to lead your, your uh, weather. 
Not to lead your weather because something like this could happen. But now I just hard swap. And he makes a great play. He makes a great play of swapping the ground. And he's going to go into who? Venusaur, maybe? And he's going to go into Grimmy Grim. Grimmy Grim's going to come out here and we're Dynamaxing. We're just hoping he's not Dynamaxing. Actually, I kind of do hope he's Dynamaxing. But the reason I said that is because I do not want him to max guard. So one thing I do not want him to do is max guard. But we're going to Dynamax here. We're going to get my boy Kingdra out here. Loving me some Kingdra. And I might hard swap my Kyogre next turn. I might hard swap my Kyogre next turn. Let's see what he's going to do. He is going to Dynamax. Yo, please no max guard. Please no max guard. I think he is going to max guard, to be honest with you guys. I really do see that happening. Just a the ye old max guard coming out here. That would be a smart play. If he max guards here, that'd be a beautiful play. We're hoping he's not. We're hoping he's not. Let's see what he does. What a beautiful play. What a beautiful play. Yo, our opponent just, just, just need a round of applause for him. What a play. What a play by him. Amazing all around. Now we're sitting here. He's probably going to hard swap out. And then, uh, you know what? I might just this. I just want to, what do I want to do here? I just want to do damage to his charge. Set the rain. And then I could just go into an Origin Pulse if I really want to, or Water Spout, because we're going to outspeed regardless. We're going to outspeed regardless, and I wonder who he's going to take out here. Because he's going to shoot on a hard swap. We're going to change weather back. I don't see Charizard. Actually, Charizard might be able to take me out first turn. Oh, and he doesn't even. He doesn't even swap. He doesn't even swap. I don't mind that all day. I don't mind that all day. So Charizard's going to go down here. That's gorgeous. Charizard is dead. That is beautiful. That is just beautiful, man. He does not swap. I'll take it all day. He does not swap. Wow. He does not swap the Grimstar. I'll take weather control. I'm with it all day. Maybe he thought I would swap. Or maybe, yeah, maybe he thought I was going to swap, thinking that he was going to swap. But Water Spout comes out here, and the damage through the light screen, dude. Through the screen. Oh, that one was a crit. That one was a crit. But still, though, the damage. We love it. We love it. Get that thing out of my face. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. He's going to switch weather here. He has no Dynamax. I'm just going to change it back with the geyser. That's my one play. Gonna bring back out Groudon, obviously, and beat. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Slow your roll there, pup. He puts me to sleep. You put me to sleep. I might want to just swap Kyogre. I'm gonna swap Kyogre in the shed. That's my boy. That's my boy. I'm gonna swap Kyogre in the shed. And you know what? I'm just gonna go for an airstream. I'm gonna try to take you out. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to take you out. And I'm swapping my Kyogre into my shed ninja, dude. There's no need to gain weather for swapping Kyogre, because once Kyogre comes back into the playing field, we'll have Choice Scarf. We'll be able to roll out pretty strong, and we'll take weather. Like, Sheninja comes in, dude. Sleep Powder. Yeah, yeah I kind of saw that coming. Kind of saw that coming. What's he going to go for here? Blades, maybe? What's he going to do? We have Sheninja out on the field. With a Focus Ash, still. Thunder Punch comes through here, and we are Wonder Guarded. We love it. We love the Wonder Guard. We love the Wonder Guard. Cool. Okay. From here, what do I do? I guess we're just going to stay in for a little bit. But I'm going to try to just, like, waste these turns out here. I mean, my Pokemon are faster once this weather's gone, so... I'm going to just try to drop this. We'll try to do that, and I could ally switch. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pester around here. Waste out these turns. What are we going to do? Got my boy Shedinja out on the field. <laughs> love this Pokemon. I love it. We switch places. Weather ball coming in hot. Going that way. That's fine. See, he was going after my Shed Ninja. I ain't letting him take out my Shed Ninja. Leave my Shed Ninja alone. Leave my Shed Ninja alone. Rock Slide coming in. Oh, no. Luckily, we're Focus Ash. Luckily, we are Focus Ash. We love it. So, my Shed Ninja's still here to play. He still came to play. We could endure. We could go for an endure. What's my speed at? Do I have to outspeed in order to do this? He might, he might think that we're switching again, but hopefully he goes first. No, because he's going to take me out. You know, I'm just going to Shadow Sneak. Or I could swap. Could swap back into the Kyogre, which I'm thinking of doing. I'm digging it. Let's swap right back into the Kyogre here, and maybe we'll wake up, and we can go for a beautiful little waterfall. Just right into you. Shed Ninja, good work. <laughs> good work with the Wonder Guard. We don't have a Sash anymore, though. But of course, he has a few Pokemon that can take us out at this point. 
Rain is our favor. Wake up, Kingdra. Kingdra, you are now fast on the field. Wake up, girly. Wake up, girly. I need you. Bruh. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Let's see what he does here. He's gonna go for weather ball. That's fine. That's fine. Now it's water. Now it's water. We'll be able to soak that up all day. Mwah. That's tasty. Box slide missed by Kingdra. Who dodged that? Was that Kingdra? No, I think it was Kyogre. It was Kyogre. But my girl eats, yo. My girl eats. So now we're sitting here with a choice scarf. And in this point, water spout all day. Water spout will take out you. And you go for a bounce. Which I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for a bounce. He still has light stream, but water spout can do a ridiculous amount of damage. And then we still have Zassi in the back. And who's who I really like. Who I really like. Can my Kingdra wake up here, though? I would love it. No three turn sleeps. Three turn sleeps are ugly. There we go. We wake up. We're going for a bounce. We are out of here. We are dipping. We are dipping. He's probably trying to drop a rock side to take me out, but water spouts can come in hot. Uh, send it. How much damage are we doing on the ground on? Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Yo, solid first battle for you. Solid first battle for your boy. And I'm going to hard swap in this Shed Ninja after this. He can't take me out now. He cannot take out my Shed Ninja. It's impossible, right? He has Weather Ball, which is water. He has Sleep Powder, Grass Move, and probably Ground Move, right? A lot of them aren't rocking the Poison moves nowadays. But yeah, I'm just going to swap into my boy Shed Ninja. Hey, that's a wrap. That's a wrap, dude. Just cancel the battle. Unless you want to deal with Shed Ninja all day. And that's a sweep, too, if we win it this way. That's a sweep if we win it this way. That will be a sweep. We're hoping we get a sweep. We're hoping we get a sweep, but I think Life Orb can take us out after we use this bounce, right? Take him out. Give me the sweep. Give me the sweep. Do not die to Life Orb damage. You have 12 HP. Soak it up. Live on one. Give your boy the sweep. Son of a biscuit, yo. No sweep, but hey, we grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. Solid battle for us. Got the Showcase Shen Ninja and the Kyogre Squad. Second battle coming at you guys. First battle went so perfect. Got the Shen Ninja in there. Had the Kyogre just come in there, get some big kills. Everything was perfect. Everything was perfect. But we're going up against a Ho-Oh and Xerneas team. And I believe I showcase a team either exactly like or similar to this on the channel already. But he's got the Raichu, the Lapras, I should say G-Max Lapras, the Ho-Oh, Ferrothorn, Crocodile, and Xerneas. So Xerneas is always scary. We got to watch out with that Pokemon setting up. So I kind of want to lead Zacian just to get out there. Zacian's not bad. Or the Weather Squad's kind of looking pretty good. But he does have Fake Out ready to roll. He does indeed have Fake Out ready to roll. Hmm. What's my play? What is my play? I definitely want to bring Zassi, but I kind of just want to lead the Weather Squad. I think he does lead Raichu. I think that's like a, a gimme. But I could actually go Indeedee Zassi, which wouldn't be bad at all. Which would not be bad at all. Indeedee Zassi and bring Weather Squad in the back. Kind of digging it. I'm kind of digging it. Or we can go here. Bang, bang. Uh, no, no, no. We're going to go Ndidi's ass. And I was going to say, we, we could lead Ndidi with uh, Kingdra. And then just swap into Kyogre. But I really do like this squad that we're pulling out here. I really, really like it. I really like it. Lead this ass scene. Just in case, you know, he's trying to lead Xerneas to try to get that Pokemon set up. We can kind of just go into a Behemoth Blade and roll out from there. So I do like that. I do like that. I do like that. Let's see who he leads. Let's see who this guy leads. Hopefully, it's not the Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh -Oh kind of scares me. He's going to go Crocodile for Intimidate. And Lapras going to come in hot. Okay. Lapris. Lapris is going to come in hot alongside with... Okay. Uh, I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. Intimidate does me a little dirty. I don't like that, but it is what it is. He might... I think he's going to Dynamax the Lapras, right? It seems like... That, that just seems like the play all day. Dynamax the Lapras. Go into the uh, G-Max Resonance. Set up the Roar Rail. Blah, 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 blah. All that good stuff. Does seem like what he's going to do. Does indeed seem like what he's going to do. But we are going to get a special defense boost, which is huge considering Lapras is a special attacker. And I can just follow me them shots pretty well. So, I'm thinking just going to follow me here. And just Behemoth Blading into this, right? I had to guess this thing's Dynamax. But I had to guess this is going to be the Pokemon of Dynamax. Right? There's no way he's going to Dynamax the Crocodile. And Crocodile might be Choice Scar. He's going to withdraw. He's going to hard swap the Crocodile. And he's going to go in the Ho-Oh. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Dynamax that Lapras, just so we can get double damage on. Just so we can get double damage off. And beautiful. He's Dynamaxing it. He's going to get rolling with that. I'm fine with that. We're minus one, but still a Behemoth Blade on any Dynamax Pokemon. The damage is ridiculous. And then we're, we're faster than everybody. We have the Follow Me ready to roll. We're going to be able to soak up shots with Ndidi. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And then, like, we can we can kind of just let Ho-Oh do its thing for a little bit. As long as we're protecting our Zacian. Then we just get in our Water Squad in the back. We can dump on the Crocodile. We can do work onto the Ho-Oh. I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this. So we swaps the Crook. I kind of wonder why he's swapping the Crocodile. 
Behemoth Blade flying. Send it, baby. We're even on tack board. He took away our plus one. But we're going to get after it this way. And I think he wants to hard swap back into the what's it called? The Crocodile. I think that's going to be his play all day. And G-Max Resonance is going to fly through here. He's probably going to hard swap back into Crocodile. And that's fine. That's fine. G-Max Resonance, we can soak. Easy soaks. Uh, follow me. He's just going to poke out here again. And if he wants to go into the Crocodile, it's fine. That is totally fine. That's totally fine. So I'm just going to go for another Behemoth Blade. And just another follow me. Because I can waste out turns all day long. I could actually slide this over to that slot. And say that the Ho-Oh is swapping. But I'd rather just keep getting off damage onto this... Uh, Oh, there's Lapras. I'm with it. But once Ndidi dies, once Ndidi dies, say Ndidi dies here, I can get out Kingdra and then just hard swap my Zacian. Because he's probably just going to keep trying to fire away at my Zacian. And then we can just hard swap and kind of go from there. So, follow me coming out here again. Special Defense is boosted through the roof. We love it. We love it. But Ho-Oh is physical attack, which we got to watch out for. Behemoth play flying. Not going to kill it, but probably going to need one more to actually kill it. Because, you know, that war Veil's out and about. He doesn't have hard swap. I just realized that. He doesn't have hard swap. Now we're sitting in a good spot. A real good spot. And he's just going to go for a Sacred Fire. That's fine. Deal some damage. And then, you know, the Resonance or whatever move he's going for is going to take out. Indeed. That's totally cool by me. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. So what's my play here? I feel like my play is... Oh, that's the only problem. Oh, no, he's not going to go for a Sacred Fire. I was going to say, if he burns my, my Kingdra with a Sacred Fire, that could be tough. So I feel like the play here is going to be uh, bring out Kingdra, swap the Zacian into Kyogre, and take out the Lapras. Or we could protect the Lapras protecting. We could definitely predict the Lapras protecting. Or I can lead the Zacian in. I could lead the Zacian in here. Does Kingdra outspeed that Ho-Oh? That's the real question. Does Kingdra outspeed that Ho-Oh? What's your speed, Kingdra? What's your speed looking like? Oh, you definitely outspeed the hoe. We don't even need to swap. We don't need to swap. There's no need to swap. We can just go here. Mm. But this might not take him out. This might not take him out. I might not take out the hoe. A, ho is pretty bulky, and B, he has a roar veil. But I'm still going to go for it. I'm still going to pop some shots. I outspeed both these guys. I'll take it. We'll set the rain on our own. We'll keep Zacian in this battle for right now because he's just doing work. He's just posing a threat onto that Lapras. Because if I swap the Zacian, that means I can't take... I don't have the chance to take out both. If I leave Zacian in here, I can definitely take out the uh, Lapras if he doesn't guard. I can kind of get it for the battle that way. Plus, we're going to set the rain. So if he wants to go for a Sacred Fire, we should be able to uh, eat it up in the rain. Behemoth Blade gets blocked. It's fine. It's totally fine. That should go next. Yep. My calculations were correct. We're going to be able to guide through here. He's going to go for Sacred Fire into my Zacian. Zacian, again, should just be able to soak up all that. And see, I told you, we, we weren't able to. We were not able to take that out. Swift Swim's in full effect, which we love. And he's going to pop... Oh, he's popping a policy, dude. Popping that policy. And now he might be able to take me out. Let's see. Come on, Rain, help me out. Help me out here, Rain. Sacred Fire poking. E, leave me alone. Rain is the best, dude. Oh my, get out my face. Oh, get out my face. <laughs> get out my face. What is that? I, like, that should be a thing. Like, how can I be burned in the rain? It's raining on me. It is legit raining on me right now. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we could roll into another guy, which I'm leaning towards doing. Like, nah, I don't think we should. I, I think we should just go for, like, a worm one. Something along those lines. Something along those lines, and then just take a sword into the slot. We are burned. Out my face. The reason I don't want to go for rain is because we don't really benefit anything from that. I'd rather get an attack drop in case he swaps, but he's just going to protect. It's fine. That is fine. We have that Kyogre in the back end. We're thriving pretty well here. Wormwind's going to flow through here. And can we take it out through to protect? We cannot. God dang it, Warbell, dude. Warbell's just too good. Zassian, connect this sacred, fi or, uh, sacred sword, please. And we'll be thriving. And we will be thriving. And we will be thriving. Now I'm not even worried about Zassian. He's burned. I was going to try to swap him and uh, get him in for something else. Get his attack stat back. But he's burned. He's burned. He stinks now. He's poopy. He's poop butt. Poop butt is the word for it. Okay, cool. Probably going to... Ooh, the tough part is if he goes into Crocodile here. No, he's going to go into Ferrothorn. Okay, that's cool. I'm cool with him going into Ferrothorn. I'm cool with him going into Ferrothorn. What do I do from here? I think get some damage off on the Ferrothorn. Worm wouldn't be your play. 
Not very effective. Airstream, no. I mean, Airstream could be your play. Take up for a Hailstorm. But now nah, we're going to go for Airstream here, and we're just going to try to take out this. This little thing over here. Hello, counters this thing so hard. What we'll do the most damage? Play rough, maybe? Hmm. Oh, yeah, the target's uh, attack stat doesn't change with Sacred Sword, so Sacred Sword's are play. Brathorn's going to protect. That's totally fine. I kind of figured he was going to protect. But I was just like, I'm, I'm relying on this uh, Zassian to take him out. So we'll take, do a little bit of damage. We'll take the speed boost. And then we just have Kai Ogre in the back end. We just have Kai Ogre in the back end. I'm trying to think of like ways we can kind of like win this battle. Because Firethorn is a pain. I'm not worried about the Crocodile too much. I'm not worried about the Crocodile one bit. Sacred Sword comes through here. Finish cross for the KO. Oh my lord, that's ugly. That's ugly. What's this thing going for? Cool, he's going. Okay, he's going after my Zassian. Zassian was dying to the burn anyway. That's fine. Maybe we'll take some recoil damage. We'll thrive out from there. Okay. All right, I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. This guy did make great plays, dude. The War Veil doing him so good. I got to see how many turns left in a War Veil. But yeah, no more Dynamax for my Kingdra. You get to bring out ooh, Kai Ogre. Wait, how many turns left in rain? Got to be three, right? Two or three. Two or three. I think we have two. We set it our first turn. We set it our first turn. We get two or three turns here. Um, I could choice. What do I want to choice into? Origin Pulse? I think Origin Pulse is going to be the best place or thing to choice into. Uh, and then do I just Outrage? I could Outrage, but Outrage, I have to go after the Ho-Oh -Oh here. It's tough. So, you know what? I'm just going to Waterfall. Maybe try to get a flinch and then just Origin Pulse. This is tough. This is real tough. This is real tough for Jeans here. Waterfall comes through here. Uh, and we'll chip up a little bit of damage. Iron Barb's going to poke out here. Yeah, Iron Barbs. Barbs full of iron. And we're going to take Life Orb here as well. And then Origin Pulse comes through here. Do not dodge it, ho oh. Barathorn dodge. Come on, man. Come on, man. And we're going to be able to send it this, this way. Okay, cool. This is tough. This is real tough. It's going to be a tough battle. This is going to be real tough. But I had the choice into this. Oh, he's going to seed me. How dare you? He's going to seed me. But I had the choice in the Origin Pulse just for the sheer fact is he has a uh, Crocodile just chilling out here. God dang Crocodile. And now he's going to make me minus one. And this Fire Throne has a high chance of clutching this battle up. He really does. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie here. Fire Throne is so bulky. It's too bulky, dude. Crocodile comes out. Intimidate is going to affect our Kingdra because, you know, it's physical attacking. Of course, we're rolling with a physical attack in Kingdra, and we're going up against these Intimidate Crocodiles. <laughs> I love it, though. I love it. Um, we're just going to go into an Outrage here. And I'm just going to go into an Origin Pulse. Well, I have to go into an Origin Pulse, but we're hoping this Origin Pulse can kind of just KO this Crocodile, and then Outrage can slide over towards that uh, that Ferrothorn, and we can start chipping up damage that way. But, dude, this thing's so bulky. It's ridiculous. Outrage goes first. That's That stinks, dude. I really wanted to go after the... Uh, the Ferrothorn. But yeah, we just have to start getting these guys. Snarl's gonna come out here. Oh, I'm kind of cool with Snarl a little bit. It's just my Kingdra. My Kingdra's the only Pokemon I have to worry about. Origin Pulse comes through here. Who's dodging it? Ferrothorn dodges it. Okay, that's fine. Ferrothorn dodges it. <laughs> Ferrothorn with the dodge. We're gonna pop out there. Crocodile's gonna go down here. Dude, I'm telling you, this Ferrothorn's gonna clutch it up. Like, you know when you're about to get clutched up by a Ferrothorn. He double seeded me. He double seeded me. We need crits. Oh my lord! I'm gonna have to go into an outrage, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go co get confused. <laughs> oh, this is so tough, dude. Leave my Kingdra alone. Look how much damage Lychee does, bruh, bruh. Seeing as leftovers Lychee twice. We need crits and crits only. We need crits and crits only. He's gonna protect, obviously. We're not stupid. He doesn't protect. Wow. He doesn't protect. Give me double crit. Crit this. Poop. Crit this. I need this crit this outrage. Outrage. Crit. Let's go. Do him dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're done. We're done. We're done. It's over with. Iron Barb's coming out here. Wrap it up. Look and watch. He'll go back to full HP. No problem. He'll go back to full HP. He's just going to body press. Which we can eat up. But look at, look at this. Ready? Watch how much HP he gets back. Look how much HP this dude gets back. Bang. Leftovers. 
Bang, Leech Seed. I'm gonna bring him up to pretty close to full. This, this Leech Seed. And then he'll still have another Leech Seed on top. He's just gonna overflow. Look at this. Get out of my face. I'm dead. That, that's gonna do 14 HP, isn't it? Yeah. Ferrothorn clutches up battle number two. We end up losing, but seriously, I think we outplayed our opponent most of the battle until this little booger came in here and did his job. But one and one, let's hop into our third and final. Look for a winning record. Let's end this video on a good note. We're hopping into our third battle, looking for that winning record, going up against a Kai Ogre and Shadow Rider Cadillac's team that also features Regigigas, this glaring wheezing, well not glaring wheezing, the regular wheezing with the neutralizing gas, and then the Whimsicott and Regilecki, both for speed control. Both for speed control. But how should we play this one? How should I go into it? Hmm. What is Gene's gonna do here? Go weather. We could go weather right off the whip. And that weather is looking pretty fine for me. I am digging weather. I am digging weather a lot. Gotta bring Zassian because you know Zassian's the best all around. And then last but not least, do I bring Shed? I, I, I like Shed Ninja. I dig this boy. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look for a win here in battle number three. But yeah, I, I dig Shed Ninja. Shed Ninja is definitely a lot of fun. It's definitely a lot of fun. But I can't believe that Ferrothorn came in there and clutched it up. But I was looking so good. I was looking so good because like we didn't see the Ferrothorn until late in the game, and we knew we had Ho-Oh and Crocodile, and we were sitting there, we were just like, dude, this is like, we're fine with the Crocodile and the Ho-Oh. We have Kai Ogre and Kingdra in the back. We should be thriving. And then he throws out that guy. And that guy legit just resists every single move my Weather Squad have. Just legit just resist it. And then he's just like, here, have some Leech Seeds. Have some Leech Seeds. I'm going to sit here, heal up, and just laugh in your face and win the battle. It's exactly how Firethorn plays, and I love it. And I love it, because Firethorn is such a sick Pokemon. And whenever you have the chance to set him up like that, it's, it feels so rewarding. It feels so rewarding. It really does. It's not like broken where you can do it up against like every single team. It's only like certain instances. And our opponent played perfectly in that battle. And he got to grab himself that win with that lovely Ferrothorn. But he's going to go Kyogre. He's going to go Whimsy Whims. And I think I'm just going to Airstream. I think Airstream is going to be a play call here. And I could choose to a Thunder. I am Choice Scarf. I am indeed indubitably Choice Scarf. I'm thinking of just airstreaming right here, right now. Not change up the weather. Just dropping a thunder. That's my play. That's gonna be my play all day. Because say he tailwinds, I think that my Kingdra can still outspeed the Kyogre, unless, unless it's Chewy Scarf. But I don't think he's Chewy Scarf if he's, if he's leading him with a whimsy cut. So I think my my uh my Kingdra can still outspeed. We can go for an Airstream, and then even if he tailwinds uh, a plus one Kyogre with Tree Scarf, seems like it should be able to outspeed a plus two Kyogre. But that, this is all speculation. Like I'm only speculating him not having that Tree Scarf. But uh, who, who knows? I could be wrong with my with my calculations in my head. So we'll see. We shall see. So Kingdra's gonna get the Dynamax for us. You gotta love Kingdra Dynamax. It's just too good. It's too good not to Dynamax. We get the Kingdra Dynamax. Let's see what he goes into. Tailwind or see Dynamax himself. He's gonna Dynamax himself, and I'm cool with that. He can Dynamax the, uh, the Kyogre all day. So he's gonna Dynamax Kyogre. Like I said, I'm, I'm thriving. Because I can get off the Thunder, and Thunder has a high chance of paralyzing. High chance of paralyzing. We're just hoping it's not weakness policy now. <laughs> we were hoping it's not weakness policy. But we should be good. We should be good. We should be thriving with this one. Let's see what he does. He's gonna go for that Tailwind. Yeah, we saw that coming all day. And I'm, like I said, I think my King just should be able to outspeed it. It does not. My calculations were all wrong. He goes to a max lightning, and that's probably going to kill me, right? No, my boy eats. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So my Kingdra does not outspeed. That's a little sad. That is a little sad. My Kingdra should be able to outspeed now with the Sash. Well, Airstream's going to poke through here. I'll say, Yah, yee, and please don't be Sashed. It's not. That's, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous that that Pokemon isn't Sashed. We go plus one on speed, and Kyogre. I'm thinking Kyogre should be able to outspeed now. Thinking I should be able to. Gonna be cutting it close. Gonna be cutting it close, but Thunder's gonna poke here. 100% accuracy. Give me the Paralyze. Give me the Paralyze. Give it to me. All day. Let's go. Let's go. That's huge. That is enormous. That is enormous. So we Paralyze Kyogre, which pretty much guarantees us getting off another Thunder. Unless he has a first turn priority Pokemon coming out here. I'm with it. I'm with I'm with. I like where we're soon. I really do like where we're soon. Let's see who he brings out here. He's gonna bring out Reg Lucky. Yeah. It's like he's fast. This Pokemon's kind of annoying. This Pokemon's fast with it. He's fast with it. Kind of makes me want to go into another. Well, we know he's rocking the Focus Ash. We know he's rocking the Focus. We know he's rocking the Focus Ash. 
I kind of just want to airstream here. Even though, yeah, we know he's rocking the focus. And I'm just going to go for this. Maybe Kingdra can outspeed him. Probably not. I don't think he can. Probably should have just went for the Hailstorm at, the, at this point. Probably should have went for the Hailstorm, but this is fine. I feel like he's going to come out here. We still have the Zass scene in the back end. I'm going to with Shen Ninja. I could... Oh, no. He's kind of... Oh, Reggie Lucky with a good bounce. That's a great bounce. That's a great bounce. I'll give it to him all day. So he's going to dodge a Dynamax. Man. But at least we get off this Thunder. At least we get off this Thunder. Thunder comes out here. Uh, big old damage. We like that damage. And this thing's going to be able to drop another Lightning. And he's going to take out my Kyogre. Okay. That's fine. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. Totally fine. Um, I could bring out Zassian and hard swap in the Shit Ninja. Which I think is going to be my play. I really do think it's going to be my play. Hard swap in the Shit Ninja. Get off a... Uh, get off probably a Geyser. Something to bring that thing down to Sash and then just uh, Shadow Sneak into that. Does sound good. Yeah, I'm just going to Geyser into you. And I could protect, but again, I'm just going to hard swap in the Shed Ninja. Hard swap in the Shed Ninja. Trying to waste out these turns. Trying to waste out these turns. This is a good battle. This is such a good battle. Such a good battle. We get our Shed Ninja. He's going to bounce here. We're going to be able to soak that up all day. And then we're going to be able to drop a Geyser and bring this thing down to Focus Ash, right? Because if the, the Whimscott didn't have Focus Ash, we know the Regilecki's got the Focus Ash, right? It does. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. We drop Regilecki, no problem. I'm liking that. I'm liking that all day. I'm liking that all day. Geyser comes through here and a great swap for us. Wonder Guard coming in hot. Shed Ninja, my dude. My dude, Shed Ninja, coming in hot. We love it. So what I can do here is he's going to bring out Cali. And I think their Tailwind ends. Their Tailwind's cutting it close here. Tailwind's definitely cutting it close. I think it might have one more turn. Might have one more turn. It might have one more turn. Hmm. That player. I still have Focus Ash. You know what? I'm just going to Shadow Sneak into Calyrex. And... What's my play? Did I double down into Calyrex? I think we do. This thing probably has the Focus Ash. This Pokemon probably has the Focus Ash. I'm not even going to lie. This thing definitely has the Focus Ash. Shadow Sneak comes out here. We could have Ally Switch, but we still have our... Wow, yo. He's doing some mean damage. But we still have our Focus Ash, which is gorgeous. And my Kingdra outspeeds it. Nice. We take out Calyrex, and yo, battle number three is going to your boy for that winning record. We'd love to see it. Be paralyzed, too. He's due. He's due for a paralyzed, this Kyogre right here. No, oh, someone's been paralyzed. He's going to go for Thunder. That's fine. Can, can you eat this up, Kingdra? Maybe. No, it's all good. We have our boy, Shen Ninja, right here with the Focus Ash. We can endure. We can ally switch. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And we have, we have one of the best in the back. We have one of the best in the back. And this thing is paralyzed. We're thriving here. We are thriving. We are thriving. There it is, guys. Nice little winning record for you guys. Let's clean this one up. But, yo, Shed Ninja, I actually like them more than I thought I would. I definitely like them way more than I thought I would. We're going to go here. We're going to go for a Poulter, guys. That's GG's. Cancel battle, please. There it is. Cancel battle. 2-1 for today's video. I'm actually glad we grabbed ourselves a winning record for today's video. Considering our past two Sword and Shield videos, we went 1-2 and two and grabbed ourselves to lose a record. So it feels good to get back on track, get back in that winning category. But yo, Shen Ninja is where it's at. This Pokemon is so good in ranked all about. You could swap them virtually for any Pokemon and just legit waste turns. Waste turns, soak up shots, get off some good shots with Shadow Sneak. He counters Shadow Rider Calyrex hard. So it's just, just a great Pokemon all around for any team. But obviously this team's going to be strong with the Kyogre Zassian combo. You also have the King Drain in the back end for Swift Slim, ADD for support, and Landorus there. We're just another all-around great Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.